What's up guys, welcome back to the YouTube video here at the office. Just about to walk out with my coat on. Got to run over to the UPS, FedEx, and Post Office as they were closed yesterday for the holiday. They have a ton of stuff to ship out. And uh, exciting news, I am listening to you guys. I hear you guys. I am watching messages come through. You want to see me at other locations. And therefore, UFC North Brunswick next week. Going to be there for their member appreciation day. I think it's on Wednesday. Don't have the exact date, or I can't remember the exact date, I should say. But believe it's next week. Um, first time there. Never walked into that location. I'm curious to see what you guys bring and the excitement you guys bring to that uh, event on uh, that night. So, was at uh, Crunch Fitness yesterday. Some exciting, pretty cool news. And this is the reason why I do... The gym events that I do, I love connecting with people. I love networking with people. Love meeting people that I normally would not meet just walking the street. And those connections are going to lead me to people helping me and building the brand. And that's why I do what I do. So I ran into Method Man's son last night. Decked out in all gear from his dad. And uh, got a chance to talk. Method Man is one of the members of the Wu-Tang Clan, for whoever doesn't know. Um, I worked with those guys back in the day in the recording studio for years, so I got a ton of stories with those guys. But um, we got a chance to talk for a little bit. I was with them for like a half hour, just laughing and joking around, talking about music, business, life. And then I gave them some of the funny uh, stories we had up in the studio with those guys. And so, cool spot last night. Kind of quiet, more than I would wanted it to be, but I get a chance to network and meet people and those connections are priceless. So that being said, I'm going to go over to the post office and UPS, keep on building the brand. I'll see you guys uh, in whatever locations you guys at, who and whoever's watching this. Um, if you want to see me uh, at your location, your gym, if you're close enough to New Jersey area or PA area, um, comment down below some of your locations and your gyms. I'd love to come out and uh, network with you guys. But uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the video. Let's get this day started. It's a wrap photo shoot done. Had a ton of fun with Brittany. Got a lot of photos done, a lot of videos. To edit those, get those up, and show you guys a little bit more of what we uh, recorded. But she was fantastic. Her first time pretty much doing a photo shoot with a brand and she loved it. As always, I try to keep them uh, motivated but comfortable working with me. And I'm out of here. I'm starving. Chipotle lives right across the street, so maybe Chipotle. And I'll see you guys later today. I have a ton of stuff going on this weekend. Probably going to record a little bit, not much of it. But uh, yeah, it's 4 o'clock. I'm starving. Gotta go. All right, guys, today is the day. Hit the doctors, got my results the other day on my stomach issues, and we're all clear to head back into the gym. I thought it was maybe a hernia, maybe some other liver issues, disease. I have no clue what the hell. Back is getting a lot better, so I am back into the gym this morning. First time hitting the gym in like two, three months. It's gonna feel fucking amazing let's get in the gym i'm here outside let's get in here and get a workout in sunday baby let's go all right guys i feel like i should probably explain from the last clip earlier today i'm in somerville hanging out grabbing some food in a little bit but want to prop you guys up here and explain a few months back um i had some issues with stomach problems i didn't know what it was and i didn't go to the doctor and I try to self-diagnose myself, which I shouldn't have done. Uh, but finally got the uh, okay to head over to the doctor. And so I went to a doctor. But in that interim, I actually kind of messed up and blew up my lower back. Which, in looking at it now, I thought it was like a combination of like back problems with stomach issues that might be something else that could possibly be I don't know I was all over the board trying to figure things out but went to a gastro doctor everything came back perfectly fine blood work all this other stuff so um, as the back was getting better 
I still had minor pain on like my lower back area. So I didn't, I thought maybe it was like kidneys, liver, a hernia. I, I was all over the board with all of it. So I feel like I'm back. Everything came back good from the gastro doctor and the back is getting a lot better. So I, fe I feel like I'm back. I decided to hit the gym this morning. Uh, we the, got, the gastro doctor did like a liver um, test and checked the liver out. Got some fatty tissue on the liver, so he required and asked me to do a little diet of sorts, which I feel I normally am doing. I'm just not eating enough of the right foods often, so I kind of binge eat when I get home at night, and that's not good. So I am taking day by day with smaller portions throughout the day, bringing food with me as I'm out and about, or even grabbing something that I can snack on that's healthy while I'm out, changing out the carbs and the sugar uh, foods, candies and stuff like that for a healthier option. And uh, I'm feeling back on my shit, ready to go. Jim's back in session. We're rocking and rolling, doing some walking out in Somerville. I'm gonna grab some food as well while I'm here. And yeah, that was kind of the last clip. Wanted to explain it a little bit more in detail rather than just leaving it that way. But you guys should already know that if you follow my shit. Just get your ass back on some of the videos and you would see it. Uh, but it's a nice sunny day out. It's about 3.30, 4 o'clock. I'm going to do like an hour walk of the town. It's a nice little small town, like mom and pop shops throughout the, the, the area. So I'm going to do that, hang for a little bit. There's a uh, an arcade place here that, like an old school arcade place. That, uh, I'm probably going to get in there for like an hour, hit some old school pinball machines, some like Super Mario, um, Mortal Kombat 1, Street Fighter, like those old school arcade games here in town so came out get some exercise get a little uh, opportunity to play some video games and eat some food here there's actually a really good like sushi restaurant i'm gonna try to maybe get an option that's not all carbs i hope i'm gonna try or fried uh, yeah catch you guys later let's get the day going here in sunny somerville new jersey see you guys on the next clip all right, guys, it's Monday, back in the office. Had a great day yesterday over in uh, Somerville. Enjoy just being out for the day and relaxing. I actually switched yesterday. I probably shouldn't have went, but I switched from sushi over to Indian food by my house, and they happened to have a buffet style for the night, so I thought that was cool to sit and just relax for a little bit so that's what i did um i ate i think more carbs than i probably should have but uh overall i ate smaller portion but i was able to kind of try a couple different dishes out smaller portion dishes which was good and yeah it's always a great spot i go right by my house for indian food whenever i get that urge uh for a dish and so it was an all-you-can-eat buffet place, and I felt like, why order one meal for 20 something dollars when I can just eat there and try a couple different smaller dishes? So that's what I did. Today, heading over to Moore's Town Crunch Fitness. Not to be confused with Morris Town. I know I did the same thing, but more, I think it's South Jersey from where I'm at. Maybe by like Trenton down that way i don't know figure it out when i get the gps on in the car but l crunch fitness never been there first time there spoke to the manager and he's excited for me to be there i'm excited to show up and i'm listening to you guys uh you guys have been sending me dms for on instagram thank you um any place that you'd want me to show up to please give me a dm and i would uh try my best to get manager um permission to show up what else we have ufc north brunswick gym to sorry wednesday for their vendor event going on so i'll be over that way and then thursday for la fitness edison for mad i'm trying to find another spot for thursday i think i might go back to carney la fitness for their mad as well 
over to Staten Island tomorrow for LA Fitness in Forest Avenue. I'm going to be doing that one. And we got an action pack week planned. Back on my grind. Feeling a lot better. Stomach issues are a little bit better than they have been. It's finally working its way through my body and out. And we got a lot going on for the next few weeks. Alpha Ghost Athletics. I've been working on that. Someone's doing some graphic design work for me, so I'm excited for that. I want to see where this graphic designer is going, and he's actually a friend of mine. Hopefully, we can work together for a long time because you know how people are. It's a one-and-done scenario with uh, some of these people that I've been networking with. I'm not sure why. People, get your ass to work, and I'm going to give you a key as a business owner. I want someone... And I'm sure more than not, your business owners that you're working with want someone to work with long term. So think think of yourself. I'm going to set you guys down. Got a little business, business action going on. Think of yourself as the owner of the company. Like, would you want to work with someone long term? Or would you rather work with them for one project and then find someone else? Like... The business owner wants to work with someone long-term, so think long-term with that business owner, and maybe you're not making a fortune of money in the beginning. Maybe you're not getting the biggest projects that you would like to get in the beginning, but that business owner that you're growing with, if he's growing, it's going to grow back with you, and you're going to grow. So think of the long-term play. I don't know why people aren't thinking that way. Um, It's frustrating, but... We live in a world where people want the instant gratification all the time, and it doesn't always work that way. And um, you'll find that out the hard way for whoever is not working the long-term game and is working the short-term game. And you know your boy's working the long-term game because you're seeing me on YouTube. You're seeing me in the gyms. You're seeing me on social media. I'm not looking to get rich today. I'm looking to build the game long term i'm looking to build the business long term i'm looking to build relationships with you guys long term anyway end my rant i'm off i gotta get to the post office ups and fedex shipping out packages and shipping out orders uh from the weekend catch you guys later today let's enjoy the day it is super sunny outside and it's so nice out catch you guys later all right, guys, it's about that time. Thursday night, member appreciation day over at LA Fitness in Edison. The place is getting a little packed already. We got a silent auction going off right here. Some memorabilia. Got me hanging out right here. Enjoying the night with you guys. And then I'm going to treat myself for a nice little $12 um, seat ticket over at Rutgers Basketball right down the road here. I'm not too far. Starts at 8.30. I'm probably going to end here at like 7.30. Grab Chipotle and then head over to Rutgers. Um, have a f- friend of mine and a brand ambassador, Val Kwan, joining me for this event. And we're going to have some fun. Grab a drink probably over there. Sit down, hang out, relax. Have some laughs with each other. And uh, just enjoy Thursday night. End of the week. Tomorrow's uh, errands during the day. And then running to my sister's house to hang with her for Friday night. And we got, what? We actually met last night over at UFC gym. Uh, So she's here hanging for the day as a vendor as well. Let's kick off this Thursday. Uh, And I think I'm by myself on this side. Everyone's going down that way. So I got the place to myself. Cool. Um, All right guys, Rutgers, here we go. Rutgers vs. Michigan game right now. Just starting, I just got in. We're pretty close. Not too far up, not too far down. That's the, that's the view right there. Place is half insane madhouse right now. I just left the LA Fitness um, Edison location. Right down the road is Rutgers. Let's go watch the game. I'll catch you guys later. All right, guys, over at Congress Hall. Uh, in Cape May, New Jersey, some of the hotel rooms. I came out here to hang out for the day with some family. 
and show you the outside. It's kind of on the beach area. Some restaurants downstairs. We had some uh, cool lunch over at the um, little promenade area. It's kind of like a stores and little boutique shops. Came out to hang out here. Heard Congress Hall was the pop-in location for the afternoon. It's kind of some smaller boutique stores and I'll show you that in the next clip. So I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the um, video. Until next time, do me a favor, give us a quick follow, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.